first of all, just use your feet together and bring your shoulders back. And take deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Now press the palm in the lower back. And look at the ceiling. Relax your head. And move the head a little bit. Now look straight. Look down. Bring your chin down, touch the body, and move the head a little bit here. Inhale and exhale. Now chin straight. Bring your chin to one side. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And keep moving the chin from one shoulder to the other shoulder. And look at the side and relax your head. Inhale, all the way by looking at the ceiling and exhale all the way by looking at the floor. Do one more time. Other way. So when you look at the ceiling, relax your head fully and pushing the tailbone to the back. Down. And look straight and swell it up. So today I'm going to do a uh, exercise to fix the knees. So I'm going to explain to you what the, how the knee works. It's like a ball and socket. The lower part is the fibula and petiole that hanging down here. Upper part is really the femur. So in between, there is a joint, like, like a space there. Then the, the ligaments are the three ligaments and a meniscus in the middle. So what's happening is for the people, because of the body weight or the wrong way you walk or the wrong shoes you wear, all changes your that space into muscle. That's where mainly meniscus tear or some messing up the ligament. So first part is actually fixing the base. That means the feet. Press the lower back. Feet together. Inhale and exhale down. So you see, inhale and exhale. Slowly, inhale, exhale, and keep doing it. So four to five times, inhale up, exhale down. Now spread your feet a little bit. Do the same. Inhale up, exhale down. Bring your heels up and down. Now spread your feet. Do the same. And spread more. Do the same. So when you really practice this, you'll be able to go up and stay here and get the balance. See? So you can see that you are stretching all supporting muscles for the knees with a narrow base. Narrow base is the toes. There. Now, one leg forward, more parallel to the back foot. Inhale and exhale back. So we can name it like an eagle. Inhale up, slowly exhale back. Now stay here. Okay, a few seconds. So yeah. we can do the other side. <coughs> Inhale and exhale. Now stay here. Take deep breath, stay. Absolutely. So we almost stretch the toes. So the base will look very strong. So feet together. Then we can lift one side toes up, see? And look straight and down and the other side, see? It's more like this.
Okay, now spread your feet a little bit and do the same. And spread your feet more and do the same. Now spread more. Now spread a little more to the side. You're stressing only the toes and look straight, shoulders back. Okay. Now bring your both toes up. So when you bring, do that, don't bring, hunch the body forwards. Chin straight. Okay. But a bit more, do the same. And spread more. Spread more. Spread more to the set. So what we did, we first bring your heels up and down, okay? Then we do one after other. Now what you do, both toes and the both heels one after other. So don't try to, then look at the upper, upper part of the body, it's really not moving much. Spread your feet a bit, do the same. Spread more, do the same. Spread more. No feet away. Go up on the toes and bring your one foot down. Then press other toes and bring your body up and down. You look, at, look, you look at my upper part of the body is coming up. So I'm pressing the toes and bring the body up and down. Now spread your feet a little bit, one foot, and do the same thing. Now I'm spreading this leg. So I'm surely shifting the body weight from one side to the other side. Okay? A little bit more and do the same. So I'm going to repeat a little bit differently. So stay here, both toes and both heels and toes and the heels. Spread your feet, both toes, both heels and toes and the heels. Spread your feet. So when you get time, you can just do this by spreading the feet inch by inch. But I'm doing the final one. Spread your feet more. 
Tos? Both toes and both the hips. Eh? Now, we have to strengthen side to side. So touch the knees together and try to lift the side of the feet to the side wall and push the tailbone to the back. Stay here. Then open it. Now the bottom of the feet facing each other. Just move here. Now we can think about the knee, so we can get the help from the wall. Touch the wall here and bring your knee up and bring your toes up and down and slowly keep doing this and bring your toes to the front corner and to the side wall. You can really move this knee here, side wall and to the back corner, and to the back, and bring it back here. Other side. And you know what you should do, just move it, side wall, back corner, straight back, and bring it back. I can show you here, see, I'm doing this. Okay. I keep doing it and bring it back. That's side. Back. Stay here. Now we can think about the knee. So again, as I told you, the knee is like a ball and socket. So when you bring your knee up, relax the foot and sweat the foot both sides, bring it to the front corner, to the side, to the back corner, to the back, and slowly back. Now, side, same. Now what we did, think about this. We move this, both sides, we're relaxing both here. So we open the, some area and stretch the ligament. Now let kicking, bring your knees up and kick. All the way back. Bring your knee really up and kick. Other side. What we did, we swing the both to both sides, to all the direction, and kick. Now relax the foot and rotate the foot. And bring it to the back. In the same way, bring it back and other way. And the same way, bring it back here. So when you relax the foot and you really move this inside into the socket. Other knee up, relax the foot. Then Same way back, other way. So we did sweat the ball as to the foot, both side, and straighten, then you spin. Now reverse biking, see? Reverse biking. Bring it to the side wall, to the back corner, same way back. Forward break. Other knee, reverse biking. Same way back. Forward. Now, back. 
here. So we almost open up the joint, the knee joint. Now bend your knees and stay here. A few seconds. Push your tailbone to the back. Stay here. Lock the knee. Bend your knee. Lock the knee. Keep doing it. You should not lose the balance. Now, spread your feet. Now you are doing stretching the knee to the front corners. Now, turn the foot to the side wall here, stay here, and bend your knee. And don't bend the other knee, only one side. So the toes facing to the side wall. So when you spread your feet more, you can bend your knees more. Other side. Look straight. Put it back. Now, feet to your heel. Bend your knees. Stay here, push your tailbone to the back. Okay. Now go up, step down with one, one foot, do this. We did this earlier, now spread your feet. So you are shifting the body weight from one side to the other side, see? Spread more. Put your feet more. Now stay here. Now shift the body weight here. Turn the foot to the other side. Relax yourself. Get together. Bring your elbow to the front corner and one side. To the other side. Now bring your elbows close touching each other, one after other. Now feet together, we can do one after other, see? And corners. Now, straight. Yeah. 
Relax for a second. Now, straight to back. Now spread your feet. Set your feet to the opposite side. So what we did, okay? both side. Front corner, straight front, feel straight back. That's the opposite side. Now bring your palm to the back corner and touch the heel to the palm. So feet together, bend your knees, rotate. Other way. Okay. Now we have to fix the upper part of the femurs. The femurs are the strong bones connected to the pelvis to the knee. Stay here. Exhalation one and two. When you get a chance, take deep breath and relax. Now stretch your legs straight back. Okay? Now stretch your leg to the back corners. Good workout, and your base will become very strong. Straight front. Front corners. Have relax two seconds. So what we did, see, one and two here, three and four straight back, five and six back corner, seven and eight front. Now front corners again. Now opposite front corner, feet together. Now stretch your leg to opposite back corners. So without bending your knee, start with exhalation. Remember these numbers and the positions, one and two. Doesn't matter left and right. Third and fourth, three back. Fifth and sixth back corners. 
seven days straight front, nine and ten front corners, opposite front corners, and opposite back corners. In one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, and thirteen, forty. Remember those 14 direction you have to stretch. Okay. Now, we create the space here. Now press the palm here and bend your knees one after the other and spin. So really help the knees because you're bending the knee, locking the knees one after the other. So lift your heels. Okay. Now one leg forward and try to touch the back knee and bend the knee here. Sit. And up. Press the toes, curl the toes. Now other side. So I'm not changing the toes position. Now stay. The knee. So the, the connecting muscles tissue for the femurs sit back and up. Keep going. So a lot of variation on the knee uh, base. So I'm not doing this because I don't know whether you already fixed the knees or not. So these are all things you have to really practice every day to fix the knee and the pelvis. Sit back on the sitting bone. Stay here. So we have to fix the supporting muscles. Stay here. Bring your one leg up and look at the toes. And straighten the knee, inhale and exhale, five breath. Look at your toes. Good up. Other side. Up. Spread your feet a little bit. Up. Other side. And more up. The other side and the corner back. Now stay here. Sit here. And stretch here. So if your knees are really bending up, you have to practice this. Now touch the knee here and sit back and come forward to the cat. Turn your toes, sit back and forward.
Now, just do this, touch the head on the floor and roll the knee and the head forward. No back. And one more the cat position. Bring your knee up sideways and kick that side wall. Look at the knee, side wall. Other knee up and kick. Now kick to the back horn. Kick to the other back horn. And straighten the leg and bring your leg really up. The side. That's it back. So 30 minutes we spend on fixing the knee and the pelvis and the feet. So if you can do this, you can really fix all this. Uh, supporting muscle for the knees and the pelvis and the uh, foot. Ready? Now we can do some breathing exercise and stuff. Fast breathing. Okay. Now we can do slowly. Slowly exhale and inhale back without holding the breath. Exhale. Okay. So we have three cavities. Abdomen cavity, thoracic cavity, and the brain cavity. So when you move the abdomen cavity, you push the diaphragm from the bottom. Then open the, expand the thoracic cavity, and open the tube between this throat and the nostril. See? That's very important. Now exhale through the nostril, tighten the abdomen wall. Now rest out there through the mouth, empty the lungs, and move the abdomen wall without breath. And lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight, inhale. The lungs are really full now, and let it go through the nostril. You change the base if you want. One more time. Fast breathing. So when you get time, you can do like 10 to 12 times. I'm just showing what to do and explain, explaining why and showing how. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now exhale. Don't inhale or exhale. Rest up there through the mouth, exhale. Hold the breath. Move the abdomen wall without the breath. Don't inhale. Lock the chin and hold the breath. Chin straight. Inhale. The lungs are full. Don't exhale. Lock the chin. Hold the breath. Chin straight. Let it go. So fix the lungs. Press the palm here. Open your mouth. Ah. And relax. So we can see that we are stretching all this cheek muscles and the, also the limb. See? Ah. Now move the lower jaw. Now like a dog, see, biting the bone. Other side. Now rotate the tongue inside the mouth. Other way. Now touch one side of the nose and clean the other side. Switch. Now touch the tip of the index finger between the eyebrows. And hold this nose with the two, two these fingers, thumb and the middle. Now 
touch one side of the nose, inhale, and let, let it go through the other side. Slowly inhale to the same side. And let it go to the other side. Hold. Inhale back from the same side. Hold. And exit to the other side. This you can do like 20, 25 times. Thanks for making breath. Open the palm. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale slowly, sucking the air through the nostril and the throat. More like a snoring. That also you can do like 10 to 12 times. Then we can do take the sound energy. So inhale. While exhaling, humming B. Mm. Okay. Mm. And also you can do nine, ten times. Now we have memory, memory from What I'm doing is inhaling, touch the tip of the fingers and plug the ears with the thumbs. Like a humming bee. One more time. Inhale, bring it down. And relax. See, the next 15 or 10 minutes, you do lay down on the back, lay down on the back, and spread your feet, and spread your arms, and close your eyes, and look at the sky, and close your eyes and imagine about the universe, especially the sky. Millions of Milky Ways are dancing above. You can feel the size of your body is like a microorganism. So you can really feel that. It is easy to relax. I think it's very important. Just let go. Go deeper and deeper inside. Like imagine you are diving into a dark sky and you can slowly start seeing the light inside. Breathe in. If you have any stress, any stress from the school or from the office or from the house, suggest your mind, let go. I am free from all the crisis. And I'm safeguarded and I'm safe by myself. Just believe in this. We'll get the right opportunity to succeed and to become happy. Close your eyes. You can pray or wish to get this peace inside. I'll let you go there. Don't open your eyes until you really relax fully and it will reju rejuvenate. Let you go there and thank you for attending the webinar and all the support.